my name is Joel Torreson from Brand Upstart, and I'm here to tell you how to keep your graphic design career progressing through the years. Let's get to it. So I remember being an early designer and what happens is you go online to apply for jobs and you see these five years experience required. Now, employers do this not because they want you to have experience. What they actually want are skills. In the job description, you're going to see exactly what they need in terms of skills. If you have those, go ahead and apply for that job. In your cover letter, call attention to how you don't have the years, but you do have the skills they need and explain, show proof, this is exactly why I have all those skills and here's what I've done to prove it. Explain it to them and you can, without a doubt, apply for those jobs. Easy. In the graphic design field, there's a sweet spot for experience if you want to be employed as a graphic designer, not a freelance designer, but actually employed by someone. And that is three to five years. So basically, you're over the rookie stage where you made all the horrible mistakes that cost your last company a ton of money, but you haven't got a ton of experience that requires you to get paid a lot. So that's where three to five years is really what most employers of designers are looking for. So over the years, I've been on both sides. I've tried to get jobs and I've worked for companies who go through the hiring process of getting in new designers. And every boss has told me that they're always looking for these three things from their new designers. Number one, they want them to have a bit of experience. And that is about three years so that they're over that rookie mistake stage of design. Number two, they want them to be cheap enough. So when you only have three years, they know they can get you for a certain amount of money, which isn't the top end of the scale. With only three to five years, they know they can afford your skills. And number three, this is the biggest one, they want someone they can train. When you're in that three to five years, you're still in the learning stages and growing your skills as a graphic designer. Your new employers want to know they can train you in to their type of work and their style of work and their environment. Once you get up to seven, ten years experience, they then assume you're set in your ways and aren't going to learn anything new and going to have a hard time adjusting. So the three to five years is the sweet spot where you're going to be learning and fitting into their new work environment. So if you're applying for jobs now, be sure to include how you are a quick learner, you take up new processes quickly, put that in there because employers want that skill. Okay, so is it possible to be over experienced in the graphic design field? The answer unfortunately is yes. And that's what happened to me. I was under the false assumption that I would slowly just make more as a graphic designer because I had more experience. Now that worked out to not be true. Don't make the same mistake I did. What happens is you hit a pay ceiling. Employers aren't willing to pay you top dollar because the industry simply doesn't afford it. There's too many other designers working for much less that they will hire before they hire someone with a ton of experience, which means you're never going to make over a certain amount as a pure graphic designer. So what do you do? You need to constantly be learning a new skill. 
you need to pair your graphic design experience with something else. Take your graphic design and pair it with marketing. Pair it with sales, web development, your own freelance career. You need to be able to pair your design with something else. That's how you're going to break through that pay ceiling. What is that skill? If you're working at a bigger company, look who's managing you. What skills and what knowledge do they have that you can start learning to get to that job and that position that will get you through the ceiling? If you're not working in a big company, go online. Look at all the job boards and job ads. What are companies hiring for? What do they require in terms of skills? Add those. That's what they want to hire for. So do the steps to grow your skill set. Start learning on your own, or if there's some online course to take, or if there's someone in the industry you know, get in contact with them, ask them questions. Always be growing your career. So to wrap this up, don't make the mistakes I did and become stale in your career. If you want to make the same amount of money forever, that's what's going to happen if you don't learn anything new. If you spend your nights and weekends playing video games, you're not going to get there. Keep learning new skills that will keep your career progressing through the years. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful for you and you can start learning new skills to grow your career. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.